The Midnight Club left us spooked, but it was so good that many of us want to discover more shows like it. Luckily, over the years, there's been no shortage of thriller TV shows that are bound to give you chills. And in today's video, we've gathered a list of the 10 best TV shows to watch if you just got done seeing The Midnight Club. So let's dive right in. Starting off at number 10 is American Horror Story. One of the greatest and most enduring horror anthology seasons on television is American Horror Story. The show's 11th season, which premiered on October 19th, is just one of the many great seasons it has to offer. Because Ryan Murphy also oversees the episodic anthology spin-off series American Horror Stories, American Horror Stories world has expanded in recent years. With a team of incredibly gifted actors, the show has remained on television for 10 years and still produces horrific stories. If viewing all 10 seasons at once sounds too difficult and frightening, there are many alternatives for where to start. Fans of the Midnight Club setting may choose AHS, Asylum, while those who like the young adult setting of the series may prefer AHS Coven or AHS 1984. Up next on number 9, Cruel Summer. One of the newest series, Cruel Summer, is quickly becoming one of the greatest freeform productions ever. The three-year anthology thriller series follows two young girls whose lives are implicitly connected and who happen to be born on the same day. The 1990s are the setting for both Cruel Summer and The Midnight Club. Both of these shows likewise focus on teens and young adults who, regrettably, must cope with terrifying situations, including supernatural and natural events. Fans of the Midnight Club's suspense element should consider watching Cruel Summer because of how similar it is. Following up at number 8 is Lock and Key. This is another great show we can't recommend enough. The Lock family moves to their father's ancestral house following his unexplained murder. The series is based on the comic book series of the same name. As they settle in, the three siblings find keys that magically unlock doors and are connected to their father's death. The only issue is that the keys are also being sought after by a demonic force. Like the Midnight Club, Lock and Key emphasizes its young adult protagonists, giving the series a distinct air of youth. Both of them also contain thrilling and terrifying twists and turns that might cause viewers to jump out of their seats. Lock and Key concluded very recently, so we think it's an ideal choice for people who binge watch shows and don't have to wait for future seasons. Most fans enjoy the ending, so you'll likely enjoy the show from start to finish. Plus, with how similar it is to The Midnight Club in terms of suspense, we think anyone who liked the series will also enjoy elements from Lock and Key. Moving on, Number 7 on the list is One of Us is Lying. Based on Karen M. McManus's mystery young adult novel, One of Us is Lying is a series centered on five teenagers from various high school cliques who wind up in detention together. The main premise is much like the novel. The situation changes when one of them passes away unexpectedly while in custody, making the four surviving the major suspects. From an outsider's perspective, the characters in One of Us is Lying don't seem like the kind that would stand out. Mostly, they tend to fall into the typical tropes that pop up in teen TV shows shows, but a closer look reveals that these people are pretty intriguing in their own right. Due to their unique and diverse cast of young individuals, One of Us is Lying and The Midnight Club have been compared to genre-bending The Breakfast Club replicas. Even if One of Us is Lying is more of a mystery than a horror show, there are still some very terrifying scenes. Plus, at number 6 on the list is Open Your Eyes. The language boundary shouldn't stop Netflix users from seeing the Polish horror drama Open Your Eyes. Julia makes friends with the other patients at the amnesia treatment facility facility after a terrible accident leaves her there since they're now all she has. But Julia starts to doubt the legitimacy of the center when she starts having vivid nightmares. The protagonist of Open Your Eyes, similar to The Midnight Club, is a patient going through a difficult situation. The characters in both episodes are also followed as they look into the settings they are in and wonder if they could be doing more damage than good. Following up on number 5 is Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. When Pretty Little Liars Original Sin debuted on HBO Max, five years years after the original series ended, it received a brand new Gen Z revival. The mystery series focuses on a fresh set of five girls who are being tormented by an unidentified attacker that may be related to their mom's earlier wrongdoings. Pretty Little Liars, which may be a little campier and cattier, similarly centers around an enigmatic stalker who poses a threat to reveal the most sinister secrets kept by a group of four female teens. There's a lot of thematic overlap between the popular freeform series and Tell Me Lies, even though it's handled as more of a mystery than an assertive romance. Unlike the girls in Pretty Little Liars' original sin, the protagonists in The Midnight Club aren't being pursued. Both groups of adolescents are dealing with some gruesome incidents. If they want to figure out what's happening, they must also learn to rely on one another. This is why we think fans of Midnight Club will definitely like Pretty Little Liars. Next at number 4 on the list is The Red Band Society. One of the regrettable series to join the dreaded cancelled after one season club is The Red Band Society, a group of teens who are all patients in a hospital's pediatric 
department was the subject of the drama series. The teenagers each cope with their diagnoses while also going through typical adolescent struggles like dating, breakups, and friendship. Red Band Society is comparable to the Midnight Club, even though it lacks any aspects of horror, suspense, or the paranormal. This is because all individuals on the latter are likewise terminally sick. None of the characters in these shows allowed their diagnoses to hold them back from pursuing their goals, even if those goals involved perhaps encountering otherworldly forces. Then at number three on the list is The Haunting of Bly Manor. The Haunting of Bly Manor, the second installment of Flanagan's The Haunting Anthology series, centers on a young au pair recruited to look after a man's niece and nephew after they wind up in his care. The au pair soon starts to see entities that seem to be haunting the house. Given that Flanagan is the creator of both shows, viewers who like The Midnight Club and haven't yet watched the latter should check out The Haunting of Bly Manor. Both have fantastic narratives and have a highly cinematic feel to them. The Haunting of Bly Manor is ideal for people who like the aesthetic of The Midnight Club, but not as much the horror components because it's less of a horror series. Flanagan has established himself as one of Netflix's top horror show writers and directors for several years. His success in genre television is unquestionably great, with titles like The Haunting of Hill House, The Haunting of Bly Manor, and Midnight Mass among his credits. I'm so glad you stayed. I am too. We're all outside. You're joining us. Moving to the second show on the list, The Haunting of Hill House. The Haunting of Hill House is the first book in the Haunting Anthology series, loosely based on a 1959 book of the same name. The Crane family is the focus of both the past and the present in this supernatural horror tale. When disaster hits, the family flees the house, but 26 years later, after facing a tragedy, they're reunited and forced to confront their lives in their previous home. Fans of the Midnight Club, who adored the intrigue and supernatural elements of the show, will like The Haunting of Hill House. Given that Flanagan created both series, they both pushed the envelope in terms of production value and have some nerve-wracking moments. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. It's a long day. Oh, at least they're excited. Mm, it's gonna be a long summer. Taking up the number one spot on the list is The Order. The Order is another one of Netflix's original horror drama series. The show's protagonist is Jack, a college student who joins a secret society to get revenge on those who killed his mother. He discovers some nasty family secrets and an underground conflict between where werewolves and dark wizards, which is more than what he bargained for. The Order, like The Midnight Club, is centered on tenacious young adult protagonists who won't stop until they receive the resolution to which they feel entitled. In one way or another, both series also include evil powers. That's a wrap for this video. Which show are you most likely to watch from the list? Comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.